Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you the current results of my Crypto Hopper automated trading bot that I deployed just one month ago. And I will show you how I configured the strategy, my RSI 470 cross strategy, before it's all said and done. Now, if you're not familiar with Crypto Hopper, they've been around in the world of automated crypto trading bots for just about as long as anybody has. And I started using them back in 2017 or early 2018. And I have deployed a wide variety of bots on their platform. Now, now this particular bot, I actually use the Explorer membership, which is the least expensive membership other than their free membership. Now, the free package won't actually get you automated trading. It'll allow you to do manual trading. But the Explorer package is the exact package I use to deploy the bot we're going to look at today. And you can actually get a free trial by following the link down in the description below. And then afterwards, you're just looking at an investment of $19 a month. And the results we're going to look at today would have more than covered this $19 a month. So looking at some of the other features, it'll give you 80 positions. The most I ever had was eight or nine positions on this particular bot. You can select up to 15 coins. I have two coins selected, Bitcoin and ETH. I don't have a bunch of crap coins selected for this bot. Uh, you get two triggers. I wasn't using any triggers. The TA with 10 minute interval, that's okay. I would like to see this a lot quicker. And then you get a simulated trading bot as well. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get into the weeds on how this bot actually performed and how it's actually configured. Now, if you look over here at the stats, you'll see the bot is up just over 30%, basically 30%. And what that equates to in USDT is 243. Now I do need to subtract that $19 from this total to cover my investment of actually using the platform. But with that being said, the bot paid for itself and I've got a nice profit of over $200. And this bot has been running for just over 30 days. I deployed it on December 21st and today is January 23rd. I do have a couple open positions that I was able to pick up on the most recent big sell-off that Bitcoin and ETH saw. And as you can see right now, I have buying as disabled. And I will do that from time to time, depending on my tactical analysis and what I see in the market. Now, if we scroll down, we can look at all trade history. And we'll scroll down to the beginning of time, at least for this bot. And as you can see, like I said, December 21st is when I first deployed the bot. The strategy that I was utilizing, and I will go into the details of the strategy in a moment, so hang in there. And so that strategy actually made these buys and then in turn took profit and a very small loss on that particular position. And the strategy for the most part is based around RSI crossing up or down. And then you can see the strategy made a couple more buys. I made some manual sales. That's right. I manually manage all my bots that I have deployed, whether it's on Crypto Hopper, Mudrex, Bitscap. I manage all my bots. I'm watching charts all the time and I will jump in and take command of the bot. And in this case, one of the nice features of Crypto Hopper is I can manually close a position. And I did so and took some profit. And the strategy actually took a small profit here, which confirmed my profit taking earlier of the market was starting to turn over because again the bot actually takes profit when the strategy sees the rsi oversold and start and the price action starting to move down and so the strategy took a small win a small loss and another small win and a couple hours earlier i had actually closed out positions in anticipation for the market starting to cool and that is just a part of how i maximize the use of crypto trading bots now if we scroll up you can see I manually sold a couple more positions as the bot was buying more positions based on strategy and again you're gonna see a whole nother slew of me taking profits and what you don't see in here is a whole lot of losses because I am actually managing and monitoring my bot and then here you can see the strategy did step up take some profit and a small loss and then I manually sold a couple more positions. And the whole time you can see the bot is making all these buy orders based on the strategy. And then I am taking profit as I see fit. And you might be thinking that's a lot of manually sold orders. Yes, but 
I didn't have to make any of the entry orders, any of the buy orders. That's a huge help because I may miss an entry where the bot is capturing all these entries for me. After that, I can manage and take profit as I see fit. Now here you see the strategy did take some profit. A lot more manual sales, but more importantly, there's no losses. I'm managing my risk. And as we scroll up, more of me manually taking profit. Here, the strategy took a 14% winner. That's good. And then the next sell order was actually triggered by my profit setting of 40%. And I'll gladly take a 40% winner anytime. And then the strategy bought a whole bunch more positions. I manually sold as I saw a change in the market. And then the strategy agreed with that change hours later and took a almost 20% win. There's my biggest loss with 7%, almost 8%. But again, the strategy sold off at a 15% win. So here the strategy confirmed what I er saw earlier with these manual sells. And then this batch of manual sell orders, after we saw the Bitcoin and ETH market have that great big sell off, I locked in profit on that V-shaped recovery, yet I'm still holding a couple of those positions. And so that's complete transparency on how I manage this bot, the profits and the losses that occurred during the time this bot was deployed for the past 30 days. Now, if we jump back over to the dashboard and we can see the two positions I'm holding, like the BTC is up 2% and ETH is up 11%. Now this position, more than likely, I will let the bot close this position out. And same with this Bitcoin position, given the current market conditions, I will let the strategy actually close these two positions. And then I don't have any short positions and I don't have any reserve fund positions. So let's take a look at how I actually configured the settings of this bot. And we'll jump over to config over here on the left hand side toolbar base config. And we'll start with the basic settings. I simply named it RSI 470 X or cross. That's my actual strategy that I'm using. The bot is live. The exchange is Binance and I've got my API keys plugged in and I'm using the ticker highest bid, lowest ask notification on email of trades buy settings is order type is market. Maximum buy time is three minutes. Binance, you get filled pretty much instantly. Maximum open positions is set at nine. Max percentage open position per coin is set at 100. So the maximum positions I can have will be nine. I generally end up with about four open positions of each. Coin. Enable cooldown is off. I have only open one buy order per coin at a time. And then I'm not buying only when there are positive pairs. And auto merge positions is also disabled. Now, if we jump over to the coins, you'll see my quote currency or what Crypto Hopper calls base currency is USDT. My allowed coins for the bot to trade is Bitcoin and Ethereum. That's it. That's the only two. There's a whole list of crap coins over here you could choose. I tend to stay away from them as I do a ton of recon on these two particular currencies each and every day. And then percentage buy amount, I have set at 1119, which equates to $100. And I have my minimum USDT per order set at that same 100. And I, and I do have ticked off force minimum buy amount. And then maximum USDT amount allocated to the spot is $900. And then next is strategy. And as far as the strategy settings go, I'm actually using a strategy I created called RSI Crossing 470. And if I jump over here to the menu bar on the left, you'll see strategies about halfway down. I'll open that up and you can see a handful of strategies that I'm working on and playing with back testing. But the one that's actually deployed is this RSI Cross 470. And you can see the indicators I have selected for this spot. I have two that are required for a buy and that's the RSI and the APO. And that's on five minute candle sizes. So it's pretty, it's a pretty fast time frame. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend this time frame for most traders. Now, with that being said, I don't recommend ever copying my strategies. Most of my videos are how to configure, set up, deploy, not how to copy. My strategies 
are configured around my risk tolerance and my risk management and the fact that I know I'll be monitoring these bots and stepping in and taking command when I want to. But with that being said, let's take a look at the actual settings for my RSI. I have it on the five minute period, signaled to buy and that is necessary. I wait for the close of the candle to confirm and then RSI period of nine rather than the default of 14. And I'm looking for the signal it to be greater than or equal to 40 and keep the signal for one candle. The APO settings, you can see again, five minutes by it's necessary. Again, the close to confirm fast period of 12, slow period of 26. My moving average type is EMA and being kept for again, one candle. And so what these indicators will tell me is after we've had an oversold condition in the market, they will confirm in theory that the price is now reversing and starting to trend back upwards. And then on the flip side, my sell indicators do just the opposite. The price has become overbought and now the market is more than likely going to turn over and sell off because the market has been overbought and it will start to trend down. And these two indicators will confirm that and sell as you saw when I scrolled through the history of the buy and sell orders. Now we'll take a look at the RSI settings, chart period, one hour, sell, it's necessary. Close of the candle again to confirm this RSI period I left at 14. Uh, signal when value is greater than or equal to 70. And they'll keep the signal for four candles. It's longer term situation. And then the confirmation of the trend change back down is the APO. And I have it looking at a faster time frame of 15 minutes. Sell is necessary. The close of the candle to confirm fast period 12 slow period 26 the moving average type is ema and i only keep it for one candle and that is the strategy and to configure your own strategy you basically can add indicators or candle patterns you can just click on indicator there's a whole list of indicators you could choose from like Bollinger Bands, the APO that I'm currently using. You could type in and search for like RSI or MACD and you could just select that. And once you select the indicator, you can configure it, close, and then it'll be added to your strategy. Now, I don't want this in my strategy, so I'm going to just delete that out of there. And that's pretty much it extremely simple and then after you've configured your strategy you can actually go back and back test the strategy and you can see over here on the menu on the left back testing and you can go back test your strategy and with that all being said let's finish up the actual configuration of the bot and then trailing stop by is not enabled as the price should already be trending up sell settings i have take profit at 40 we now you might think that is a ridiculous level but you saw the bot took profit at 40 in the history and i have order type as market order and open time three minutes again binance you're going to sell instantly i also have sell based on my strategy which we went over when we looked at the strategy stop loss i have disabled now i certainly don't recommend this for most traders i'm actually monitoring this bot and this is my stop loss well it's my safety sir I will stop the bot out when I determine that it's time to get out or take profit. I certainly never recommend deploying a bot without a stop loss. That's part of your risk management that you need to do your recon on and decide what you want to set that at. Trailing stop loss, I don't have active. I did back testing on it and it did not perform very well under a trailing stop loss. And then auto close, short settings and dollar cost averaging don't apply to this bot. All right, as we jump back over here to the dashboard, you can see that while I was jaw jacking, Ethereum's gone up like 1% and Bitcoin's gone up a bit as well. So the bot's doing its job and I think that pretty much wraps it up. I just want to do a quick update video, maybe shed some light on the settings and how I manage the bot. So 
if you want to see future update videos, now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button, probably smash that notification bell. Or if you have any questions or comments, leave those down in the comment section down below. I do my best to read through the comments and I will leave a link to Crypto Hopper in the description down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.